Hi, I have a collection here of uh, my um, Chanel's and I know it's a very, very um, small or tiny Chanel collection, but uh, this is what, or these are all what I have for now. I already sold one um, pair of my um, CC slides to um, The Real Real. I wish I had uh, done my uh, video before then, but um, I did not. So I only have one pair of um, heels, Chanel shoes left in my collection. I have owned uh, other Chanel's in the past, but uh, I have already um, sold um, uh, some bags. So um, it's... Uh, what day is it today? Oh, it's March of uh, 2018 and um, hopefully uh, my collection will grow. But of course, we're always waiting for uh, the funds to come by. And no, I'm not going to buy a new handbag because they cost, they, they, they are ridiculously priced. If you're going to get a new handbag, that would probably cost you like 5000 minimum of 5000 and up so um i'm not that crazy yet to spend my money on that uh i'm uh happy just uh buying from um uh designer consignment shops for the fraction of the price okay so let's start off with my um chanel um uh, heels they i think they call these uh, the cc um toe capped pumps and I like it because it has two colors um, um, it's dark blue and it's black here and of course the um, stitchings here uh, CC stitchings and it says made in Italy and with um, Chanel shoes oh I forgot to include I also have a pair of Chanel sneakers it's downstairs though um, I'm not gonna get it right now <laughs> okay so made in Italy and it's it had I'm a size um, 36 and a half here Chanel shoes actually they run um, small to your size sometimes I'm 36 sometimes I'm 36 and a half but I think uh, because my sneakers downstairs it's size 7 or 37 so um it's not very consistent but um yeah so it ha these are um nice uh, uh pumps and it's like 2 or 3 inches um high okay so um I i'm pl planning to consign this to the real real but um with the way things are going um they sold my Chanel slides for $170. So um I think I'm I'm better off selling this myself. Okay. Or selling that pair myself. Okay, so uh this one is um my summer quilted tote collection. And I think um some of you know the story I got this from the flea market and i paid 60 bucks for for this and um this uh, there are a few online um that are being sold and uh, i think it belongs to the summer uh tote collection and this is a vintage or 1980s lambskin quilted tote so just look at that it has scuffings, of course. This is a well-used handbag because the owner used this as a beach bag as well. But she um she bought this from the Chanel store. I think um she said 30 years ago in uh, New York. And look at that, the patina. There's there's darkening. And um yeah, I love it. I love this. And uh, um this is the clear tote and it's very subtle it doesn't scream of chanel's at all there actually there is not a chanel um engraving here at all and uh the only thing would be uh the sticker the only proof of authenticity would be 
the sticker who should have been present but the owner uh, removed it it's it, it's here at the bottom but it's not here anymore so you look at that it's just really really well made and this is a vinyl and i'm still uh, trying to clean this up but it doesn't bother me this is the clear tote collection and um yeah it's really really big it's really really big and um a leather surgeon has already coated me uh that uh, if i'm going to have these um scuffings uh, repaired or covered up uh, they said it's not a good investment uh for me because i, I would have to spend like i think 260 just for them to just you know cover up the scuffs and th th they said that they could not do something about this because i said it's a bit dirty so they told me to just clean it up so you know if um i'm going to to um end up listing this then then uh i'm not really really very put together today <laughs> okay so if i'm going to end up um sending it to them and spending like less than three hundred dollars i don't think it's worth it that's what he told me anyway the scoffings are very minimal so uh it's not a, a real real emergency okay so uh and the scratches here are not that obvious see it's still you know very very nice and it's it's a very well used handbag patina dark so yeah okay now we move on to this is um my latest purchase it's uh i've only used this um i've I bought this second hand from the consignment shop in Boca and it's the GST or the Grand Shopping Tote or Grand Shopper's Tote in caviar leather with um with gold hardware and uh, yeah uh, it has a bit of uh I was coated by leather surgeons. It would be for everything. It would be uh, less than $500. So I think I'm just going to sell this and uh, get a better, you know, a better one that has, you know, I don't have to do anything to it. So it's pretty much okay as it as is. It just has some marks at the bottom. But what I want them to do is the slouching here. So what they would do is, um, you know, put a cardboard here, whatever they have to do. Because um, everything is okay. Um, it is very, very thick. And um, yeah. So um, this is a dust bag. And that's, that's the box that it came with. And it has some staining um, inside. But uh, I have not attempted to, um, you know, spray anything on it because I'm too scared I might ruin it. And, um, yeah, so I'm still thinking about it if I'm going to have it spawned because I have to um, pay $500. But, of course, it will, you know, come out look, uh, I mean, looking like, you know, very new. And I think this is one of my least favorite handbags right now because I don't know. I just don't find myself, you know, using this. It's like, I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted this in my collection. I think I prefer the medallion, the one <coughs> with the uh, zip top. And uh, yeah, er everything is okay over here, except for some staining in here near the stamp Chanel made in Italy. And uh, um, yeah. And if you're looking for the Lampo thing, it's actually over here. I made a separate video on this one, comparing it to my four uh, quilted GST. And if you can see that, there's a, a, a Lampo at the bottom of this. I can get into right now. Oh, or maybe there. Oh, there. There's a Lampo there. So it's really, really hard to get into that. And this is the shopping i know the dust bag okay and this one um i purchased it two years ago and it was uh, in mint condition when i bought it this has not been used that much uh, i only use it when you know i go to church 
and for special occasions and they call this the Chanel Serpic uh, Iridescent and um, there is a bit of dryness here already well it's okay on the outside but on the inside uh, because this rubs against your shoulders and it's a bit yeah I bought this for I think less than two thousand uh, dollars a year or two years ago and it's really really in mint condition when I bought it so they call it the, the antique brass here and I, I've discussed this in my uh, in one of my previous videos oh shoot what are those now I could see some indentations because I haven't been you know storing them nicely <laughs> oh dear okay but it's pretty much uh, really really perfect okay and let me see what's inside okay um chanel on the left paris on the right and then this is a dust bag and uh, yeah so this is the lining so it, it looks very very new and um made in italy and uh, yeah this one still has the protective uh, plastic so when i bought this it was absolutely absolutely in mint condition it didn't come with uh, the the uh, um re the serial number i'm just the card though but it has the thingy so so there it's very very snug and i think this came out 2005 or 2008 according to the serial number so i bought this off from a second uh, from a consignment shop online and um that's so uh it's a luxury consignment shop and of course um it's uh uh lampo <laughs> it's lampo also over there okay so this is the i only have one box um and um i stuffed this with i stuffed this with my jo malone boxes because i i have a thing for jo malone so um i uh, i have all these boxes here and uh, i have a big bag of um the empty uh, mattress uh, or sham or quilted bag uh, I also um, stuffed it with uh, my boxes and boxes because I, I like to keep the boxes for some reason. So uh, because I may want to um, sell some of my Joma loans that I don't use anymore. So at least they're they in there in their bags. What else is, is in here? Is there anything else? Oh, these are all Joma loan boxes. So where's the cover? Oh dear. Okay, so, so there you go. I have a very tiny uh, Chanel collection because, you know, um, um, number one, of course, is the budget. And um, yeah, I still can't can bring myself to, I, I love the vintage Chanel handbags. So, and I would like to own uh, a flap bag, the classic flap bag, but, uh, you know, let, let's wait and see. <laughs> so, yeah, at least I have one in black, one in um, red, and one in uh, cream. Okay, so I have a lambskin, a caviar skin, and a chevron stitch type. And just to show you my dupes, okay, this is my dupe. I think you've seen it already. This is my dupe. Uh... I haven't used it since leather surgeon told me that it's uh, it's a dupe, although it's a real caviar leather and everything checks out. But the 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 hardware doesn't say Lampo, so they said it's a very very good knockoff. And this belonged to a celebrity. She's been she had been using it for years, and then she was uh, um, going to throw it away. But my aunt. Uh, took it from her and she gave it to me to sell and that's when we both found out that it's a dupe so a celebrity a famous celebrity has been using this for years and i haven't um used this since then <laughs> okay um and um this one i have i bought it from a flea market and this is a very very good uh, dupe it's so soft though very very soft lambskin and uh but 
you see that i'm sorry so what i it's very very good it's very very good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um cut this up chop this and then use the flap to cover to cover a, a book no not a book i'm going to get um i'm going to slice this up or cut it and then glue it on a cardboard and make it as a jewelry or trinket box or whatever and then yeah i'll probably have to chop off these these as well and put it on the side so because i can't bring myself to use a fake one uh because i it, it's not i, I don't know why but uh, it's like in my handbag books uh the the author uh, mentioned she she said that i have a fake handbag chanel handbag but i couldn't get myself to use it because it's fake so just you know like that so um i think i could do something about this so i i'm going to um i don't know what to, what kind of um scissors would cut this off and then um i'm gonna make it into something you know um I know it's it's just it's just a silly idea, and on the side, I would put these um strap it under if it's a box. So hopefully I'll be that that um uh, plan of mine would materialize. But for now, the so that's it. Uh, <laughs> a very very good dupe. So there you go. Okay, bye.